Hey guys, uh, it's kind of late. Want to give you a, an update on the MiG 29, where I'm at on it. A um, couple things turned out real good. Let me see if I can peel this off for you. These air intakes came out real good. I'm just feathering them in with some filler and. Whoops. Come on, this is on tighter than I thought. But, uh, man, that's some good tape. But this is my uh, 3D printed vents. This is balsa uh, that I built by hand and put a screen in. The only thing that's not balsa is the box that is up under here is a 3D that 3d printed box which was done by frank born out of germany he makes a whole panel for this that you can get off his website um I, frank born did the 3d uh, design of these vents here and i recessed them made them even with the skin and I'm in the process of wet sanding. The only smooth part is right here because you can tell the difference. But I got a lot of wet sanding to do. Uh, what's taking so long now is I am trying to get rid of this seam. When you guys have your canopy or when you see other guys canopy, when they meet here, uh, there's a gap. And I don't like it. So I'm going to fill it, sand it, try and take that down so it's real thin. And it looks nice and tight. I had a little gap up here around the nose. And that's why this is getting filled in. So basically some saran wrap. And I'll take this off. Remove the canopy and then pull the saran wrap out. And then put it back in and do any wet sanding around that area to finalize it. Um, some of you guys might have noticed this is all one piece now for me. You, all you other guys, you got a two-piece from the factory because it's attached here and here. But mine is all one piece. Um, so when I pull my canopy off, this stays on as one solid piece. Uh, Frank Bourne gave me the APU uh, 3D printed. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, I've got some filler on the top because of the 3d printer leaves ridges. So that's making that smooth um, Looking real good You know I'm Doing some sanding and filling on the speed brake uh, Got a parachute now from RC shoots uh, They uh, Made me a shoot for the MiG-29. So look, look him up. Frank Bourne also made the design for the uh, flare tubes. Got those inside installed and feathering them in, you know, so it doesn't look like I just threw it in there. That's good. Um, you know about the gun port that's in here. It's all under that tape now, right now. I don't want to pull that off again. Uh, just... Got all the filling in. Got a lot of wet sanding to do. When this gets done, then I'm going to wet sand the whole thing down and, you know, try and get it smooth and try to get some color on it so I can see, you know, is this ready? This is going to look really good when you hit it with that wet sanding and get it all smooth. Man, that is going to be nice. That's my latest update. Um... Outside of the fact that uh, for Christmas, my wife bought me a MiG-29, just like this one. A guy in the next city over from us had it on Facebook for sale. He never flew it. He just put it together. And she got that for me for Christmas. I got an HSD uh, Cessna 182 in a box. And I have the HSD um, ME262 jet in a box brand new those are my after this project <laughs> one of these will get started uh the 
The MiG-29 is going to be my backup practice plane. I'm not going to do anything to it except put it together and fly it. This will be my show plane, practice plane, show plane. That's how I'm going to do that this year. That way I, I can put this up, don't have to scratch it up or anything because I'm really doing a lot of work to it. Um, that's all for now. This is Jetman. I'm out.